The time has come for a close encounter of a third kind. A small step for V, but a giant leap for humankind. Who are you betting on showing up? The reptilians or the technomancers? The Spanish Inquisition? I admit, I didn't expect that. Mm -hmm. So wake the f up, samurai. We have a city to burn. We're going to talk some cyberpunk edge runners today. I love Cole. intros where I have to bleep it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I, I knew when I said that, I was like, ah, I don't care. I'm going to let Cole oh, do it's some fine. work. It's, it's early. Cole will take care of it. We yeah. can deal with him post. Yeah. So we are deal going to be post. Uh, I, reviewing, but mostly discussing cyberpunk edge runners today. We're going to yes. do the trademark signature Annie Pro way where we declare best boy, best girl. We're going to also rate it in terms of mm -hmm. our trade patented Annie Pro rating system, which is protagonist, supporting, background, henchman, or antagonist. That's Cole, right. would you like to do a better job of hosting this and explain this review? <laughs> discussion? There's absolutely no way I could possibly host any better than you, Michael, but I will try. Um, what are we doing? What are we, ho what are we recording? Uh, a podcast. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, we're going to talk about the OPs, the EDs, and we'll talk about sound and voice acting and then the visuals, and we'll just give our general spoiler-free thoughts and who we'd recommend this to, uh, if it's similar to any other shows, and then we'll give a big old spoily warning. And don't worry, it's we, we give you lots of time if you want to go back and watch the show. And honestly, this is probably a show I'd... At the spoiler warning, go and watch the show. Uh, that's, I would say that's so, my too. Thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then uh, once we get into spoiler warning, then we'll go a bit more into plot and world building characters. Uh, and then we'll say our best boy, best girl, ending thoughts. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we'll rate the anime like Michael said. Michael, you did a decent job. I, you know what? I shoot to be decent most of the time. So that, yeah. that's good. I'm glad that I, I'm glad I succeeded. You, you know did what, a decent boys? job and I did a great job. And Jay, if I were to give a good I, job. If I were to give you guys a character uh, yeah. in, in the grand scheme of anime, I'd give you yeah. a protagonist. Wow. Wow. Appropriate. Yeah. yeah. That's cheesy as F. <laughs> that's <laughs> the name of the game, baby. Yeah. Let's, let's just. Oh. I'm, I'm done listening to your banter. Let's talk about the OP and the ED. Starting with yeah. the OP. OP. Gentlemen. Thoughts on this opening? Franz, Franz Ferdinand. Ferdinand. Yeah. It's fire. Yeah. This Literally. fire. Yeah, I um, know. This, this, this OP yeah. was good. Go. Yeah, it's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good OP. I feel like uh, this OP was a bit yeah. more like abstract, which I appreciated. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely some yeah. like foreshadowing in it. I really like that. But I, I yeah. like how it was basically just kind of general shapes and, and colors. And mm -hmm. it was just hype. It's just a hype OP. Yeah, I, it's kind of like classic Trigger, right? It's simple and stylish on the surface. And if you want to de delve a little deeper into it, there's a ton mm -hmm. of meaning packed into it. Mm -hmm. But like when you just look at it, it's like, oh, that looks cool, right? Yeah, and that's kind of the whole cool. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one initially, thing, oh, oh sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say one thing I thought was really cool with it was they cut out all. I'm, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the song, but in the song they say, "This fire is out of control. We're gonna burn this city, burn this city down." Mm -hmm. And they made sure to cut every reference to burning the city down out of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. which I thought was kind of like a cool touch because like you, you don't, you're not you taking, you're you not taking the city. Yeah. No, the city, the will city break breaks you. you. Yeah. yeah. Jay, what were you going to say? Um, initially, I wasn't sure whether I would have liked the OP. Um, it, it seemed very simple and just like, okay, we're just trying to get credits out. But as I watched the show, I realized how much of a uh, simplistic way of showing how the main character progresses through the series um, mm -hmm. it actually mm -hmm. is. Because yep. it really does show his progression from like um, the beginning to even really the end. Um, yep. and also just like kind of his headspace of where he is, uh, in, in the series. And we can touch more on that in our spoiler talk, but, uh, yeah, it did, it did a really good job of like explaining kind of David's story, which I really liked. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, and then, and, and just going back to the credit point that you made, like the implementation of credits in this oh, OP yeah. too is yeah. really like, good. Second to none. I'd yeah. Say. yeah. Like, yeah, it was just very interesting. It's just a very engaging OP. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't say it's the best OP. No, it's, no. I was gonna say it's, it's not gonna make good. my. It's not it's gonna very make good. any of my playlists for OP. I don't think. Uh, I mean, like I'm not Fred's gonna put this one and good. just watch it. But yeah. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. you know what? Yeah. I would watch and was good. And maybe I stand alone on this one. What's that? The ED for this show. Well, I have an interesting little note <laughs> written well, I down have notes. here. 
Yes. I have one thing. I have actually two things to say about this ED. Number mm -hmm. one, it's nice. A stylish little peek into Lucy and her character. Because, like, the beginning's all about uh, David, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the ED's all about Lucy. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I like that a lot. But I was only able to watch this ED exactly one time because my wife would not let me watch it. What? <laughs> Mike, you really missed out. Why I didn't watched... you just, like, tell her, this is for a review, I need to watch it? Mm hmm Yeah, no, she wasn't into the whole... The, there's a lot of nipples in it, so... I mean... She's, mm. she's like, we're just gonna skip that, so... No, Has she that's... not seen nipples Guys, this before? is the perks of having a wife. <laughs> it's... Uh, a few things that I noticed with the ED. First of all, the song is, is a banger. Uh, it's really good. Yeah. The animation in the ED too, like that walk cycle at the beginning of the ED where she's like walking uh, through the streetlights. Mm -hmm. They could have just played it easy and had the same shadow effect on her every time. But each step she took was like she was actually progressing underneath streetlights. So like the shadows mm -hmm. would hit her every step. Like they really put effort into it. And um <sighs> You know what? I, I do have something else to say about the ED, but I'll save it first after the spoilers. Yeah, there's there's a lot of spoilers in the ED and OP, honestly. Like, we'll mm -hmm. talk about them on, after the break when we do our spoiler warning. But yeah, there, if if you wanted to, there's quite a bit to there's a bit of meat to dig into here, especially when you oh, yeah. watch it and then come back and watch the OP again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this ED. Uh, Mike, what do you think of the ED having only watched it once? What did what what stood out to you other than the nipples? <laughs> Honestly, the one scene that I keep thinking back to is the I really like the part. It's kind of I think at the very end of the ED where it's just Lucy sitting there and she's sitting up being like completely surrounded by Night City and she's staring up and like it almost looks like she's trying to see the moon, but Night City's mm -hmm. in the way of it. I thought yeah. that was like a nice just a nice little like perfect image to end on there, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Jay, what about you? Are you I'm thoughts? gonna be uh honestly not really. I thought that the ED was okay, but it never really stood out to me much. Yeah. Um, I thought that like, uh, having the show be bookended by both David and Lucy's stories, mm -hmm. uh, was a really nice idea. And because that like they and their relationship is like one of the biggest parts of the show. Oh, for mm -hmm. sure, their chemistry is yeah great. Yeah. Uh, but we'll talk more about that in the, uh, spoiler Character side warning. Things, yeah. 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 Um, the uh, other thing about the ED, maybe, maybe it played more to my, uh, liking. The, the color palette of it, of course, was, like, right up my alley with the purple mm -hmm. and the, like, the dark purples and stuff like that. It was, I think this was an ED, uh, made for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the target audience. Anime for this was. One. You're, yeah. you're, well, you're the target audience of this show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, spoilers. I love this show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sound. Sound. The sound. Off, boys. Yeah. And the, the, the sound and the music in this show are honestly, for me, what really makes this show so good. Top tier. Yeah. Yeah. They take yeah. the soundtrack of Cyberpunk because that's where these songs come from, right? I'm pretty sure. Like most of these songs are just in in Cyberpunk, which is probably why mm -hmm. they had such like a diverse soundtrack, ca like cast of songs to use. Mm -hmm. And uh they did the thing where they keep making songs like part of the show and then like they make the motifs for certain things. Mm -hmm. And like the way that they use the songs in the shows will actually the song will start off for example like the there's that one song that you probably heard a million times everywhere on every tiktok and every video mm -hmm. about this but and uh i was actually gonna know, sing it as my intro but i can't sing it because it's way no, too high it's okay it's called uh, uh, i really want to stay at your house yeah yeah that song they take it from being like a nice awesome like little like kind of groovy party song almost like it's a cool mm -hmm. like synth wave song and just yeah. through context and when they use it in the show, they slowly transform it into your mind into like this melancholy, like you're, you, I played it for my wife earlier today when I was editing a TikTok for our Annie Pro TikTok, follow our TikTok. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I was playing it and making her listen to it and she actually started crying just from listening to just the song, which this, is like telling you how the, powerful yeah, the sound yeah, design the, is. By the end of the show, the song like breaks your heart. It's yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the the sound design in this is is good. I mean, and of course the guns and the explosions and the blood and guts sound effects. <laughs> yeah. Trigger had those already though. They were oh, Trigger yeah. was ready for those. Yeah. 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 And uh, you know the zany sound effects, classic Trigger, the, the slide whistles and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was definitely a Trigger show. 
Yeah, uh, definitely a trigger little, show. Little peek behind the curtain here too. Uh, this anime was made perfectly for Cole, but it was also made perfectly for Mikey because he <laughs> he loves him some trigger. Yeah, Jay as the resident non-trigger fan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sounds, sound effects. Sounds. Uh, so I mean, most of the sound effects, like it sounded pretty good. Uh, I didn't have any complaints with it, at least. Mm-hmm. Um. For the soundtrack, I have a bit of, I have a couple of notes from this, uh, and I just thought, like, it was absolutely bonkers with, like, the range that it went from, like, um, Mm -hmm. just, like, from literal death metal to, like, beeps and bops that you'd hear in Rugrats. (laughs) I like it. (laughs) Like, there's this one song at the very beginning of the show. Like, you'd hear in Rugrats. You, I, I was literally, like, I feel like I've heard this in Rugrats. I don't understand why that was what came to my mind. Um, and I'll play it for you if I can find it uh, later. But, like, I, yeah. th- the initial thought was Rugrats. Um, but, like, the, the shooting sound effects, the blood splatter and all that, it all sounded really good. And, I mean, there was never a moment where I was like, yeah, that sounds weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The sound design was super polished. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Another important uh, aspect of sound is is voice acting. Uh, I know Jay and I watched this subbed. So, Michael, question of the week when we do a review. Did you watch this subbed or dubbed? I watched this one dubbed, but I did my usual flip back and forth. And mm-hmm. honestly, having listened to like sol- a solid amount of both, they're yeah. the same. They're equal quality. Like they I are... have seen, I have seen people say that they prefer the dub, which is probably I... the first time I've ever seen an anime where people say, "You know what? I like the dub more." Honestly, I've seen quite a bit of that actually. That yeah. that doesn't really surprise me because it is uh, at the end of the day a Western property, so it's made yeah. with the like mm-hmm. Western voices and all that in mind. I th- um I think kind of it. I was thinking about it when I was picking which one I wanted to watch this in, because like I said, they're equal quality. They're both good. You're going to have a good yeah. time with either of them. Mm-hmm. And when I think about it, I think this show's meant to be watched dubbed, because listen, hear me out on this one, guys. Yep. The OP and ED are both completely English. Most yep. of the songs in this show are English. Most of the characters' names are just English names. Mm-hmm. Yeah. David O. Yeah. David O. Like- <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't know. I just think it, it works better in English. I, honestly, Guys. this is probably like one of the shows where I would just say, like, there's no wrong answer, period. Guys. And that's coming from me. Like, I'm a purist. What if, yeah. and just think about this for a second, yes. what if Cole and I were the ones that watched the dub? Ooh, Jay, did you watch the dub? The Japanese dub. Oh. 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 Well, <laughs> yeah, okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I, I really... Uh, I really like the Japanese voices. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, Rebecca was played by a pleasant surprise. Uh, Rebecca was played by the same voice actor as uh, Foss from Land of the Lustrous. What? Tomoyo Kurosawa, mm. which is one of my favorite uh, voice actors. There you go. I've talked about mm-hmm. her before. She's, she, uh, she's probably one of the most talented voice actors. Underused. Underutilized. And she had a few... Good eh? noises. Yeah. 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 Once, she I, did. once I once I knew it was her, then I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. her. I, I did I write heard, down that Rebecca stood out for me as a voice actor too. Yeah, I've heard the Rebecca's English, English voice, and yeah, it was really good too. Like honestly, I I wouldn't say one's better than the other. Like you said, no, Mike. and it, it it's it's weird too because when you like flip back and forth between them, they did a really good job of matching voice actors. Like it honestly just sounds like the same person just speaking another language mm-hmm. it, for a lot of them. Well, I mean, A, Western property, like Jay said, and B, uh, Netflix budget. Like, they obviously yeah, yeah. took the time well, to, I mean, to do this properly. And, like, they kind of had to because it was all releasing at the same time, right? Like, you, mm-hmm. d- it, it's not like most anime where you get the sub first and then, like, they, ha- they have to send it over and then uh, look at the show and then kind of mm-hmm. get an idea of what they're saying yeah go through the whole process it it was all like made for each language so right it's not uh, like they can go back after and like make a patch to make it better or something right <laughs> no, i mean like a video game or something like a video game yeah yeah <laughs> no and uh, sorry just to go back to the video game again i'm baffled like not baffled i'm just kind of some interesting pride i have as an anime fan for like that people watch this and like got back into the game Anime is huge. It was honestly, yeah. this was an absolutely like amazing marketing move by uh, CD Projekt Red to actually yeah. Oh, like, yeah. 
put this out there and give them they probably gave them a pretty good idea i bet you they mm-hmm. even wrote this whole story for trigger I oh would i mean yeah the the writer yeah. of it is is not japanese the yeah like i yeah. mean the the writers were japanese but i think the story the original uh, story uh creator was not japanese yeah i yeah. think he works for yeah. cd cd project red yeah, yeah. so like um, they worked very closely with trigger to make this anime happen Mm-hmm. I think we should save that for the po- post spoilers section, maybe or yeah. spoiler free yeah. thoughts. No, I, I, I just, yeah. I again, yeah. I, I had to. I can just see where we're up. going. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, visuals, of course, triggery, triggery goodness. Oh, mm-hmm. so good! I love not my enough, triggery goodness. Not enough characters sliding into frame for me. I, <laughs> yeah, I really and there, miss that. I'm gonna there be honest. Enough, like that, that really helped me enjoy the show more. Oh, uh, <laughs> see, like I. I I miss it, my my character models distorting and getting all weird and wonky. I missed that a little bit. It was not. I have a feeling they tamed that it down was, a little. Yeah, I have a feeling that was CD Projekt Red being like, okay, we have to let this at least be a little bit more in like grounded than most. It of was simultaneously stuff. super trigger, but also like not super trigger. It was like you know? trigger grew up a little bit or something. Yeah, it was like trigger matured. Yeah. 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 So. I have a couple of comments on the visuals uh, that mm-hmm. I wrote down. I just wanted to uh, um, let you guys or um, let them mm-hmm. out. Um, I love the colors of the show. Oh, yeah, hundred um, percent. And I yeah, think yeah. that the col- like the colors uh, were the thing that really hooked me on the visuals. Um, and like you could see every area, every moment, every character had like a color associated with them. Like David yep. was yellow, and like yellow's the main color of cyberpunk. So like you know it's very mm-hmm. obvious he's the main, the main character, character. Yeah. yeah um the like techie futuristic high-rise area in in the night city is like all neon you can tell that it's like a whole futuristic thing and then mm-hmm. you go into the slums and it's all like uh monochrome and all the colors are very dull brown grungy and it really yeah. adds that feel of uh like a like a low um low budget wage area um yeah. Uh, like, uh, when, when he goes into like that or like when that power thing happens and I don't want to go into too many spoilers about that and you see like a green background, you instantly know like, okay, this is what's going on. Mm -hmm. Everything that the colors bring to it makes every moment very identifiable where we are, who's in the scene, who's talking, what's going on. And it really makes it memorable, identifiable. Uh, and, uh, I think that that's very trigger as well. I mean, yeah. Night City is a main character in and of itself. Yeah. Is is this our, at every time we do a review, we say, you know, the <laughs> the, the setting really is like a character in the show. I honestly but it think is. that it is. in this, it really is. Like, it's so oppressive. Yeah. It is the antagonist is. of the show. Absolutely. Yeah. More uh, so than uh, than any, any one character, because, mm-hmm. yeah, like, everybody's just struggling to, to get by in this awful yeah. awful dystopian future yeah yeah uh, i do have a quote from shazana who was on the podcast last week ah <laughs> uh, yes shazana my mortal enemy i know <laughs> the podcast villain uh she wrote down i like how flashy it was like tengen uzwi it really catches your eye mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. very interesting very interesting commentary <laughs> well, by well her put, there yeah. well put yeah. here are some yeah. applause mm-hmm. uh the other my thoughts now that we're done getting her speaking she yeah. just like stole my clipboard and wrote that by the way she just yeah, wrote get that. her out of like, here <laughs> get, her out of get out of here uh some interesting thoughts that i had on this one uh a netflix i love what they let creators do they open mm-hmm. it up to make these really mm-hmm. dark super like this would never be allowed on tv right nope never but just like it, devil man cry baby so i like trigger probably saw devil man cry baby and they said listen listen we can do that we can do that, but we can make it trigger. And then they yeah. then we probably got approached by Cyber or uh, TD Project Red, and they're like, "Oh!" <laughs> <laughs> and then Did we just yeah, become best happened. friends. Yeah, yeah exactly. Classic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another interesting, cool thing that I thought really kind of played into this is you had the uh, one of the keyframe animators was Yu Yoshinari. Mm-hmm. He was the guy who did uh, Gurren Lagann and Evangelion. He was the mech designer for Evangelion. Mm-hmm. And I think you can kind of see it a little bit. Like the cyberware in the show kind of like looks Ava and E a little bit. It has a like those kind of like yeah. the parts yeah. and stuff like that and lots of lines and stuff. It's mm-hmm. kind of neat. Uh, and then the other, the, there's a lot of really beautiful shots in this show. 
But I did notice, and I feel like we'd be remiss to not mention probably maybe the worst thing about the show right here is that there are a lot of shots where they kind of save budget by just kind of panning on like the same thing or they'll just have like a loop of something. And it was kind of, it kind of took me out of it sometimes a little bit. And there was like, like, they, they did a good job of it. Like it's not, it wasn't too jarring, but yeah, go ahead, Jay. There was one scene in the anime, now that you mentioned that, where like it was frozen on David's face and there was just a whole conversation or something. And I was like, did Netflix freeze on yeah, me? Yeah. And like, th- I that was, one, like, I think that I was, one might have been intentional though. Going to the yeah, video bar. Yeah. It, if it's the like, part that I'm thinking of, I sent a meme in the, uh, in the Discord group. Okay. Um, can, uh, you, like, can you quickly pull that up and tell me if that's the scene that, that we're talking about? Uh, where did you put it? In um, meme mill. Come meme join mill? our Discord, okay. everyone. It's when it's in the near the end when he's sitting in the car. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And he's all not like dirty. that one. No, oh, no, okay. not that one. Because if, if we were talking about that one, like that's purely intentional. Oh, yeah. yeah no, yeah. that's yeah. that's intentional. But uh, no, it was a comp- it was a different moment. Um, I, I think it was like a, the like his profile or something. I don't remember it exactly. Yeah, I that's the one I was thinking of, Jay. I'm pretty sure it was just like him just like sitting there, like staring at something. Um, yeah. Uh, but it, it like. It froze or like it froze on that for a long time while there's conver- or like while there's dialogue going on. And I'm mm-hmm. just thinking like, did did my Netflix freeze? And so like I checked the video bar and it was like it was all going, everything was working, and I was like, No. And then like something moved in the background. And I was like, Oh, yeah. okay, it, it was yeah. intentional. If it's the one I'm thinking of, Shazana literally like turned to me and she's like, Did it freeze? Like, is it yeah. is it good? Because it was like kind of, <laughs> it's almost a little jarring sometimes. And I know why they do it. They do it because they wanted to make the actual action like so bombastic. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right? But it's just sometimes a little too like on the nose. Too you much. Can tell. Yeah. You can tell. You're like, oh, this is where they're saving budget. And I feel like when you're doing that, it should feel like, you know, at least that they're trying to make it work while still saving the money. Yeah. Well, to you play know, devil's advocate, I didn't mm-hmm. notice. Really? I know. Yeah, that Honestly, actually surprises I, me. That surprises me too. I felt like this show moved at such a fast pace that the I. Pay- oh, it does. If there was, oh, if there we'll was, we'll get to that. If there's any moments of where, if there's any moments where nothing's really happening, I take that as an in- intentional. Okay. That that's a that's a creative choice because what I, I mean, mean is- ultimately, it's it's a ten pe- it's a ten episode show mm-hmm. that's being funded by Netflix. I yeah. don't think that they're trying to save budget. It just does, it, whether or not it's a creative choice that I don't think that necessarily means that's good because like no no and that's that's an argument that yeah, I would, right. I would yeah, definitely yeah. listen to yeah um, you don't have to like it I'm just I it just like it didn't, I didn't feel like that. yeah yeah it just didn't feel like when they froze on that face like did they need to do that could they have because it was just a conversation between two people. Yeah, I'm. I'd it be just, curious to see because uh, I'll show yeah, you I'd be after. Curious to, yeah, show me, show me the scene. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the the thing that I would say to that is just I, you, if you're gonna do like just a steady shot on just someone just having a conversation or something, I know what you're saying. They have it like big budget or whatever, but mm-hmm. like there's no there's nothing moving in the background. There's no really. It's just a panning shot of like a stationary character, right? So it's they're saving not maybe not budget, but they're saving time. To spend yeah. where they want to spend it, which is like a good strategy because it makes the action yeah. in this show, which really is where it stands out that yeah, much I mean, better for it, right? That that itself could even be an I- intentional thing where you're contrasting the the bombastic action with downtime that is a mm-hmm. bit more stationary. Yeah, I, I don't think that the downtime itself is really an issue because, you know, the, having downtime allows the story to develop its characters, world, and everything right. like that. Yeah. But it really depends on how you present that to your audience. And if you're having it on like a still image, you're not going to retain as much interest as if it's something that's moving or something like that. So it's yeah. really a challenge of balancing that. Yeah. I think we've all kind of, yeah. We've, we've all made our points. Yeah. yeah. We will all fight next <laughs> yeah. time we see each other. Next time we see each other on the streets, we're throwing Oh, down. I'll be ready. I have my yeah. sword like right here. You're getting punked, Chew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Spoiler free yeah. thoughts. Spoiler free thoughts. I have really no spoiler free thoughts that I haven't mentioned. I love this anime so much. I it's think going forward, so let's good. use let's use this section as basically like a, who is this for? Like, who is this for? Who is this for? Yeah. It's for me. Um. Well, I think we kind of touch on that with the, the like what is it? What does it recommend? Uh, who would I recommend this to? And ultimately, this 
this anime is basically Prom Air and uh, Ghost in the Shell, and then they, they're just smashed together, and they kiss. They kiss. Mm. And then they make a baby. Um, I would recommend, uh, if you're looking for proper like cyberpunk, Ghost in the Shell, Blade Runner, and Blade Runner 2049. This is the best cyberpunk thing I've seen since Blade Runner 2049. That being said, if you're looking for action, those are not <laughs> the stuff I'd recommend to you. Uh, if you're looking for more action, Kill a Kill, for sure. It's got that uh, attitude to it. Um, Akira, kinda, I guess. A little more action-y. Um, yeah. What do, guys, what do you guys think? I, Mike? I'll go. Uh, basically, my final thoughts or spoiler-free thoughts here are just going to be like, this is a really, really good show. There are some things that aren't, it's not going to be for absolutely everybody. Like people who don't like graphic violence or oh, nudity. Yeah. There's a lot There's a lot of nudity too yeah. and graphic violence. You're not going to you like this show. Will, sorry, can I just interject really quickly about the nudity? Uh-huh. They, they get the like graphic nudity out of the way in the first two episodes. <laughs> yeah, no. and... And they do a good job there of is making nudity, the nudity. There is nudity throughout. later on in the yeah. show, but the nudity later yeah. on in the show is basically just naked people. Yeah. In the first two episodes, be prepared for some nudity yeah. plus. Yeah. 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 If if you've seen Devil Man Cry Baby, it's in the same like yeah. shocking genre. Not it's yeah. not quite as bad, but like there are definitely some things you're like oh that's that's happening that came out of nowhere yeah <laughs> yeah yeah oh okay yeah that's happening to that that guy's doing that on the street interesting yeah uh other than that i i think most the average person is going to enjoy this anime i'd say for sure two out of three people are going to enjoy this anime i would say at least <laughs> <laughs> at least yeah <laughs> Two, two or three pretty... people are not going to be bothered by the nudity. I yeah, probably, probably if you can handle that and you can handle Trigger's antics and you can handle like the mature adult themes and stuff in this, you're going to enjoy it. If you like, honestly, this show really reminded me a lot of uh, Evangelion and Kill la mm -hmm. Kill, all kind of like mixed into one and Ghost in the Shell, but like not boring for me. No, no, I, and I, that's fair. You, you know, know what Ghost I mean? In the Shell, Ghost in the Shell is very much... It's that that same idea that the show has about like man versus machine, and if we fuse together, yeah. like at what point does it one stop becoming the other? But Ghost in the Shell is basically people monologuing for yeah. like ninety minutes, uh, yeah, and then I there's an action scene it. at the end. <laughs> I just can't watch that. I just get so like my ADD brain just is like just sitting there like, please something happen. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay, what are your thoughts? Um, my thoughts, I uh, probably have very different thoughts than both of you, because I did like this show, but I probably didn't like it as much as both of you. I think that's, um, that's classic Jay. <laughs> I, I expected you not to like this show at all, so I'm actually uh, surprised you liked it even a little bit. I did like it, um, but I would honestly split the show into two halves, for me at least. The mm -hmm. first half had like really good yep. setup, a really good uh, exposition, world building, and, a lot, yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of that. Um, and just really, like, got me into, like, okay, where's this story going to go? Where are these characters going to go? And really got me invested in it. By the second half, it really felt like it started to uh, rush to the ending. And I think that the 10-episode span is probably the biggest issue or biggest cause of that. Yeah. Uh, because I really felt like... Um, something happened and then like the next episode it was like okay something completely different happened i was like thinking to myself okay how did we get from here to I, there i want to talk about the pacing after the spoilers yeah, yeah. I have I mean, I'm, I'm just too. touching i'm just touching on it very but quickly I, but um, i agree with you jay i think it could have benefited mm -hmm. from maybe one more episode but uh, one, we'll one, I, or, one or two I but we'll get to that later yeah, cool I disagrees. disagree with both of you. Um, <laughs> yeah. But we'll talk about that later. But <laughs> yeah, so I thought that it was a very weirdly paced show in the second half. But the first half, I really liked the pacing of it. And I liked the world building and, ev and everything. Um, I thought that uh, a couple of the side characters, I wish, got a bit more development than they did. Um, and I was a bit upset with that. But I do like the main uh, the main duo and their relationship and their mm -hmm. character development mm -hmm. and all yeah. that. Yeah. Um, who would I recommend it to? Honestly, I saw a lot of Gurren Lagann in uh, yeah. in this show, and uh, lo and behold, it was done by the same director and uh, same uh, mech designer. So, like, I kind of I kind of see it, but also just like in a couple of story beats, you can also see that, like, yeah, 
they're they're the same. But if you like things like Gurren Lagann, basically uh, and uh, like sci-fi stuff, uh, uh, Ghost in the Shell, and things like that, I think you'd like it. Um, if you're a fan of the game, obviously check it out. Uh, and uh, yeah, or like even honestly, if you like things like uh, the Witcher anime and you want to check out more Western properties that got anime, check this out as well. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, th- another thing to mention is that this is like a really, really, really good uh, what you call it at thing a teaser for the game. Like this is a great yeah. piece of propaganda that makes you yeah. want to play the game, and it's actually mm-hmm. an official prequel. Like it's it's canon. Yep, it, it yeah. it's canon it's to the yeah. game. canonical. Yeah. And then uh, with the uh, the latest update for the game, like they they put Easter eggs from the anime yeah. in it. Like you can get David's jacket. I you saw can, you like, go to, Rebecca's gun. Yeah. You yeah. can like go to various find that gun. <laughs> yeah, you can like go to various uh locations that were in the anime in the game oh, yeah. as well. Yeah. For like, sure. Yeah. Like it's it's just like scouting in a in in the the real Assassin's world. Creed. I'm oh. sure they I'm sure they did scouting in yeah. in game to find mm-hmm. interesting places. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean one other one other thing that I'd recommend that c- I looked down and it kind of came out of left field, but Madoka Magica. mm mm-hmm. Mhm as yeah, well that, like the, the, yeah, melancholic kind of deal. the faustian bargain like s- mm-hmm. you sell your soul for yeah. yeah you know uh yeah a little bit of that too if you if you like the vibes uh yep. madoka mm-hmm. magica as well kind of polar we? opposite things of, of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs>